Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Right now I'm in Prague and I'm talking to the silent peddler because here and only here he sells some really great stuff like there are extracts, mana extracts, pure extracts, healing maximum HP, MP, and SP as well as third keys. And off screen I bought a couple of each. Uh, about three third keys I bought um, maybe five mana extracts. I didn't really feel like I needed any Thera extracts because um, I have Alice and she can cure HP. And then one more pure extract just in case, um, but I do have a lot of SP restoring stuff, but I figured, you know, it'd be nice to have that because we are doing side quests, we do have some rough bosses coming up, and uh, yeah, we're close to the final dungeon as well. So remember here in Prague, we talked to the guy Ewan, and he was talking about how his house was haunted? Well, let's go there. I don't know why his house is called the Doll House, but okay, whatever. What is it, Alice? It's nice here, though. It looks like a pretty house. Oh, you're sensing evil spirits? Oh, yikes? We'll have to keep that in mind. Alice is in the lead? That's unusual. Huh. Okay, well, let's see. Let's just go around here and look around. Oh, a broken old clock. Huh. Okay, yeah, go ahead and uh, grab that crank right there. And I think that there's something else. Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over this way. And let's see, down here. Yeah, we get a lottery ticket. That's what I was actually thinking of. Oh. Huh, that is kind of creepy, I must say. And what do we have out here? Oh. Oh, okay. We need to do a push ring to reach inside of a fountain and grab a key? Seriously, I hate these stupid push rings, and this one's like the worst of the bunch. It really is. This one's just terrible. Yeah, it... Urgh, 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 damn it! Yeah, let's try this again. <sighs> okay, so you need to, you know, put the controller down, use your pointer finger, and try to get there. And it's going to stop, and then kind of go back, so you just kind of have to hover it there. Perfect. And for doing so, we get the storeroom key. Okay. Oh, also, um, I wanted to mention, before you come in here, make sure that you have crucifixes on Yuri, as well as Alice, and then on Zhujin, or whoever else you have, Cosmic Bracelets, as well as Zodiac Bracelets. You want to be protected from any and all status ailments, because remember Marlboros from the Final Fantasy series? Yeah, their cousins are in here, ready to just make your life a living hell. So what I want to do to make their life a living hell is transform into a Mon, and hopefully just one-shot them so that I don't have to deal with them. Damage is target. One target? That sucks. Okay, so let's try the end. Urgh! I can never do this! God, it pisses me off to no end that I'm so terrible at the Judgment Ring. <sighs> Thankfully, in future games, they do make the Judgment Ring easier to deal with, but... Man, I'm just terrible. I really am. There's really nothing else to say about it that... Remember, I've, I've spoken about this, about how I don't play action games. Things like this is the reason. Because I, 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 I'm just terrible. Let's try this. Let's see if this is any better. Come on, Jujin. You can do it! Seeing as your spells are much easier to deal with than Yuri's spells... Hey, not half bad. Eh, I got that one down. Um, eh, we'll just have you attack. Yeah, I had to take off the mind's eye because... Well, I was actually thinking that Yuri would be casting spells. So I was like, well, what's the point of the mind's eye if he's casting spells? And then I think I gave him the priest's ring too to reduce the cost of his spells. Whoa! Damn. By like, um, 20%. So, yeah. Anyway, make it through here as easy as humanly possible, and just try to survive, because these enemies can be very difficult. 
This oh, wow. You're really fast, aren't you? I thought that Juju would get a turn again, but... Eh, he is a slow old man, so I guess it makes sense that he's not getting that many turns. Let's try your Ogre Flame Dance. It's pretty cheap, and hopefully it should be able to do the job. Wow. That's really weak at this point in the game. Maybe I shouldn't be using uh, stuff like that still. Eh, whatever. I mean, it did the job, but that was really weak compared to that Flash Flood ability that he was using before. Okay, so over this way, we got that storeroom key. And use keys to open doors. But there's actually a treasure chest out here as well that I want to grab. Let's see. There it is. Get some Oracle Earrings. Awesome. That, I believe, reduced... It, it either reduces the MP cost of um, of spells, or it increases the amount of MP that you actually have. I, I know, I can't go further, so I, uh, yeah, I have to hit this little small generator. Yeah, so using the crank, we start the little generator, and then we can move on in here. So, that's kind of nice. Let's see. In here, we have a silver hand. Um, what that does, it's actually kind of broken. It makes the hit area 100%, so you can never miss. That's very nice. Oh, this looks like some sort of wine cellar. Oh, probably. Wine doesn't really go bad unless it's, like, out there for thousands of years. A slide plate. Okay, grab that. Let's see, anything else in here? I think that there's something here. Wow, this guy abandoned his house and everything else in it, including all this wine. Oh, so the room inside is filled up with water? Huh, it's like some huge vault? That's strange. So let's go inside that last room that we haven't been in yet. And we have another slide plate that we can use and hopefully that key item will allow us to continue on through here and solve the mystery of this haunting. What's up with that chain and that hook? What is this, like a meat factory or something? What in the world? It's just so creepy. Oh. Oh, I guess this is why it's called the Dollhouse. December 24th. Okay. Keep December 24th in mind for later. Oh. Huh. So that's kind of, um, nice. So it looks like this was, like, a nice family home. But December 24th, the date. Oh, this thing wasn't here earlier. Okay, so December 24th, so 12, 24 is what we want as our password. Oh, okay, it looks like that room has got emptied from water now. Well, that's good. Let's go on back there and check that out now. Yeah, this place is rather small, but there's a lot of backtracking to be had, which is fine, because it's small. I don't mind backtracking when there isn't that much of it. It's really whenever the dungeon's, like, incredibly long and then it wants you to do something like walk out after fighting a boss or something that it really just gets on my last nerve. But here, no, it's like one screen. I'm good. Oh, okay. This place should be a disaster if it was filled up with water. This place looks fine. Oh, blood-curdling drawings. Does that say help on the floor? I think it does. Oh, God. What's this? Ooh, that's creepy. But over here, we get a treasure for the third crucifix. Nice! Yeah, so now everyone can have a crucifix. Perfect. And let's see, for you, I want... What do I want? Yeah, this one, the warlock earrings on you. Um, everything else is good, I believe. I might, for Yuri, I might give him the 
the, um, the demon earrings. Yeah, I think I'm okay, and let's check our HP. We're doing fine. You would think that this whole place would be waterlogged, but no! Anything here on the bookshelf? No. But here on the wall, it looks like Help Me's written in blood. God, that's creepy. Ugh. There's nothing creepier than dolls. Well, maybe clowns. Clowns are damn creepy, too. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Yikes! And who are you? No, I don't see you. Uh-oh. Wasn't Lilith your mother? Oh, it was just some... Oh, okay, so Lilith was the, was the girl, and the doll is talking right now. So the doll is Laura. If I was a wand, I would never come home here. That's okay. Yikes! For boss time! And it's actually a pretty hard boss. And a really creepy doll. It looks like the doll from Ally McBeal. Except, like, some alien tumor is on it, too. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, transform into a mon to get some extra attack power here. And then remember those third keys that I got? Now's the time to use them. Also equipped to the Jade Lariat so that I could um, have 20% extra range so that I would be better at the third key because I am terrible at uh, doing that. So this Orb Chaos guy is a bitch. He likes to buff himself up with every single buff known to man. So he'll spend a lot of his turns doing that, which is kind of nice, actually. Um, let's see what else I want to do. Let's see. I'm going to give you... What do I want to do? I could use the Star Swall. I um, probably want to save that. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any of this. Um, let's just have you use... Blessed Light. Yeah, just some extra damage. I think that that would be a good idea to do. Even though this Orb Chaos is Light Elemental. So, hopefully she's able to deal some damage? Hopefully? Please? Wow, that's pretty pathetic. You. Since he is Light Elemental, you want to use Corpse Arm, which is Darkness Elemental. Hopefully dealing some nice damage there. And this guy, he's going to take quite some time, because he has 8,000 HP. Whenever he does finally attack, he can deal a lot of damage. So, again, third keys. I'm going to be using pretty much all of my third keys here. Arr! Oh well, I think that was the last one of the third keys, so that's fine. But yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of time, especially because I don't have the Mind's Eye equipped. But imagine doing the Mind's Eye, um, or, or having the Mind's Eye equipped and using these third keys. That would be a lot, you know? So he's doing some more buffing, that's fine. Let's see. Um, yeah, go, go ahead. So, like I said, this is going to take quite a bit of time, so we're going to be fast-forwarding.
we got him. Yeah, he does a lot of buffs. He really didn't attack me all that much, though. Um, his attack power really wasn't all that to be concerned about. Whoa! Sweet! The Thunder Roar levels up all around, and most importantly, we got Alice's ultimate weapon! Oh, well, that's good. Really? You feel bad for the doll? Wow, Alice, your compassion knows no bounds. Yeah, that's, uh, something else. I should hope so. I don't ever want to come back here. Although, you can get some nice experience here, as well as experience for fire and water, and I think I'm going to be doing that um, so that I can get those leveled up, because I really do need those level fusions here. But anyway, um, I'm not going to be doing that on screen, of course. I'll be doing that between episodes or something sometime. We'll see. But what I do want to do is get out of Dodge! and go back to Prague and let Awan know that we dealt with his problem. He said that he was really rich. Can't wait to get my reward. Maybe I'll have some more money so I can buy some more of those third keys. That'd be really nice. Well, where is he? A dark blood stain. Oh, God. Oh. Was he a ghost, too? Yeah. He vanished. Yeah, no kidding. It gives me the creeps, too. No, he was a ghost. Or a poltergeist himself. Huh. Wow. That's, uh, pretty rough. So, next time on Let's Play Shadow Hearts... We're going to continue on exploring, but this time, we're going to deal with Keith and his background. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.